April 23, Thursday of the second week of Easter, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sends speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to Him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon him. The Gospel of the Lord Eternal Life Among the ancient Hebrews, life is an animated body with its power to function and its capacity for pleasure. Life itself is the basic good. Fullness of life is the experience that a person desires on this earth, length of days, possessions, especially of land, offspring, peace, and deliverance from enemies. Life is diminished with the loss of this, and death marks the end of life. Israel knew of no vital activity that survived death. Much later, primarily due to the influence of Greek thought, there grew a belief in life after death. When the Israelites were forced to give up their cherished religious practices, Martyrs among them offered their lives in the hope of receiving them back from God. By the time of Jesus, most people believe in the other life, in the resurrection from the dead on the last day. The fullness of life or eternal life is obtained after death. This means that death is not the final word. Eternal life awaits people beyond this earthly life. It is a life of happiness with God. With Jesus, however, eternal life begins to a reality in this life. Jesus has the words of eternal life. One possesses eternal life through faith in Him. One obtains eternal life by keeping the commandment of God. One must be ready to lose one's natural life to preserve one's soul for eternal life. Jesus says that a person who believes in Him has eternal life. One does not have to wait to pass on the other life to experience the divine life that Jesus brings. One who believes and grafts his life in Jesus no longer lives in the pattern of this world but according to the mind of Jesus. Jesus